Hi everyone, so today finally I'm going to do the flip through for this sketchbook. This is the Stillman and Burn hardcover sketchbook. Now I've done, I think, um, well quite a few videos actually covering this part of. So there is half um, of the sketchbook which I've done a flip through. So the first half you can, with commentary explaining um, every illustration in a similar way that I will do today for the second half of it and um, so you can have a look I think this was around June July this summer and then on top of that I have a um, seven day um, floral watercolor challenge here as well added on so you'll see that this half is bigger than this because of that and I've got a separate video for that as well so today what I will do is share with you and comment on the remaining pages of this sketchbook and then I will just um, go from the beginning and do like a you know muted sort of just flip through of everything of the entire sketchbook with some music on or something like that. Okay so let's start with this page. Now some of the pages I have um, dated and some I didn't and I um, have realized that I definitely want to date every single illustration that I do it just kind of gives me a better idea of um, when I sketch, how long the gaps are between the sketches, whether I improve taking a gap, whether it goes a bit downhill for me and oftentimes um, it's the um, second option. Anyway, so let's start with this one. So this is the raspberry watercolor drawing. I have a separate video of this, so here I have done I probably should have written down but I didn't. Um, I've taken three different sizes of watercolour brushes and demonstrated how different the look is going to be. So you can have, um, have a look at the video if you want. And this will be somewhere around July as well. This was still um, during the summer vacation and I think yeah this was either that one or this next one might have been this one that was the last one during the summer vacation and then I take a, yeah and then I've taken a long um, break and then I came back um, to UK and didn't do any illustrating and then went I w when I went back um, it was a bit of a disaster <laughs> because I don't like this one Okay, so here I have done some swatches. So predominantly you'll see in the full uh, review um, flip through, you'll see that uh, predominantly it's all florals, but here and there, there are a few pages that I dedicate to swatching the watercolors. And I kind of like that because it sort of breaks it up a little bit. And it's also um, fun if I, during the process of using the sketchbook, I get some new watercolors and I kind of document it um, that way or um, you know sort of like a journal art journal um, spread really so here are all the St. Petersburg White Knights um, swatches that I've done um, you can pause if you want to have a look but this was the Venetian Red, Quinacridon Violet and the Blue all the three new colors um, that I got and then the vermilion was a color I also added to my collection, but it wasn't new. So these three are part of the 2007 release, uh, sorry, 2017. And here I tried to mix them and see what colors I can get. And then I tried a few of the other blues. So this one was um, from the, um, let's see, where is this? Um, getting inspired by I. Nakamura floral watercolor book. So I ordered the book um, on Amazon and liked um, the artist's style and I tried to replicate it sort of with my own kind of um, twist and I didn't like that at all. Um, but you know everything you do you learn from so even if something you create and you don't like it you'll sort of learn from it. So next page is um, Prima Tropicals and the Classics, so I wrote down here the name of the watercolours I used, which I like doing, um, so I know if I like a watercolour 
um, I know which watercolour it was, so that's quite useful to do. So here is just something experimental and dated as well. Here were some ideas I had for Inktober. At the end I didn't stick with it, I went with the girls um, painting watercolour illustrations which I really enjoyed but maybe that's something I could do for next year, who knows. Um, so yeah, I like this page, I think it's nice. Not the, um, I like the illustration itself as it is but it's just too much of the um, line work which kind of takes away from the watercolour. So here I have uh, I think I have a video of this. So this one, this one is done as a peony illustration, which I've done with St. Petersburg White Knights watercolors, and then I think I filmed this peony, which I tried to use the same watercolors um, or the colors from Schminke Horadam um, to f to kind of fit the watercolors I've used here and see how different it will look so yeah that's what i've done here the next page is i've done the um i've got a video on this as well this is the princeton watercolor brushes from their heritage um, range and i swatched all of them out so that these are all the brushes i have in my collection and yeah they're quite good um I like them. So the next page here I was just trying to um, illustrate some whimsical flowers and then the page was completely white uh, except for the ink and then I decided to swatch some of the new colours. So this is the Quinacridon Gold Hue from um, Schminke Horadam which I received last. Is the last color that I added to my collection from Schminke Hordam, and I decided to um, swatch it next to and compare to the um, uh, White Knights Indian Gold, and then also to swatch the Schminke Hordam Transparent Yellow and compare it to um, White Knights Indian Yellow, and then using the Quinacridone Gold Hue from Schminke, I also done, done a illustration. Uh, a watercolour um, wash here with also mixing sap green which is in this corner with the uh, Quinacridone Gold Hue from Schminke both of them and creating a nice kind of more um, natural green so I enjoy doing that Then um, I've done a tutorial on this peony, so if you compare it to the previous, it's a little bit more detailed, so these are a little bit more loose, and this one is more detailed and kind of more saturated and more vibrant. So there is, I think, about an hour um, of a tutorial broken into... Um, I think two or three parts, I'm not sure. Have a look there. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Then I decided to switch out these Schminke Horidam watercolors next to it. Um, so these are the colors I have used to create this um, peony. So transparent yellow and permanent carmine, magenta and brilliant purple for this area, for the petals. And then the transparent yellow again, together with sub green and permanent green olive mixed in for the um, for the leaves and the stalk. So here I have um, just a spread on whimsical flowers, and I've got a video, a tutorial for these two. So you can have a look if you haven't seen it yet and if you're, if you're interested in this style of um, flower illustration. It's really easy um, and um, fun and it's a great little something to add to your art journal. And then here I went back to that um, book which I mentioned to you before, to this book, because um, I wanted to see if I can achieve something a little bit um, more to my standard of liking 
and I do like this one more than I do this one however something is missing here and but it's just yeah just a little flower illustration and again that's from the um, Ai Nakamura Japanese watercolor artist book this is just um, done out of my mind I didn't look at any pictures I've just decided to um, paint some carinations and um, that's what I've done here and then finally coming towards the end I have done discovered the style and the um, spread style the watercolor style the illustration style that I really enjoy and, and I wanted to achieve so yeah so this is a um, Pelargonium flower um, spread so it's got six different flowers it's got a wide range there, there is a lot more of the um, of these flowers and I just decided to document these this variety which is the scented variety and then this is the bold and the brilliant um, they just kind of look cute and I like positioning them sort of um, around the page and make it look quite balanced and then just writing the title and dating it. I think going forward, this is the this style that I'll try to employ. Um, and then finally, within the same style, I decided to do something, um, something similar, but with white watercolor. And I have a video on that. So if you're interested how to paint white flowers, with watercolor then you should have a look at this video because I am um, showing you the Perylene Green from Schminke Horadam. This is one of their new colors from 2017 and I absolutely love it. Um, it's great for shadowing and things like that. Actually when I was doing um, so I've got a video on this page. This page I don't. This is the last one and the thing that I wanted to mention to you is that the paper the that they are sticking onto the cover, so the end cover and the front cover, is the same watercolor paper that they use throughout the book. So you can use it and illustrate on there rather than leaving it blank. So that's great. And when I've done this final page and um, I decided to go within the same color range, I realized looking at the photograph that these flowers, um, they were sort of in a basket of a lot of greenery around them, a lot of foliage. And so actually when the the shadow is falling, falling onto the petals, because it's the, the the actual petals are white, they are reflecting the green um, from the foliage, if that makes sense. But because it's in the shade, it's sort of like a greyish green, which is this perylene green is just made for it. It's such a great convenience color. You don't need to mix it up. You just literally go into it and use it. It's just the I don't know, I love it. I'm so happy I ordered it because looking at it, it's nothing nothing exciting. I prefer colours that are vibrant and pinks, um, you know, vibrant greens, yellows, oranges and all that kind of thing. So this is not a typical colour that I would like. However, it's great. So that is it. And that's my um, floral watercolour book done. I'm now going to... Um, Put some music on and you'll flip through right from the beginning. Oh, and before I go, I wanted to say that when we come to this page, and I'm going to unclip it to show you what's in here. So this is basically, I've done it, um, I put this clip on while I was on the holidays on, and in the summer, and I collected some magazine clippings. Um, which I thought I might want to use in like a journal or something like that. So they shouldn't be here really. It's just that I left it inside the sketchbook because this is the sketchbook I took with me on the holidays. Okay, so um, I'll probably say thank you for watching here and um, enjoy the rest of the sketchbook. <laughs>